पर पेश है दिन भर की बड़ी खबरें There's no unselfish good deeds. Sorry. Yes, there are. There are totally good deeds that are selfless. Well, may I ask for one example? Yeah, it's you know, there's no you may not. <laughs> That's because all people are selfish. Are you calling me selfish? Are you calling you people? <laughs> yeah, I'm well, sorry to burst that bubble fever, but selfless good deeds don't exist. Okay? And you know the deal on Santa Claus, right? I'm going to find a selfless good deed. I'm going to beat you, you evil genius. हेलो हाँ बोल क्या हरीशो रुक मुझे फिर भी चेक करने दे Online harassment is a widespread crime in India. A study commissioned by Microsoft in 2012 ranked India third among 25 countries for high online bullying rates. This includes children being subjected to mean or unfriendly treatment, being made fun of or teased and being called mean names. Sometimes online offenses are viewed as minor offenses. This is not physical but emotional violence. This emotional violence can leave an impressionable mind scarred for life. The child obviously does not know whom to approach. The question here is what qualifies as bullying or harassment?
what is online harassment that means when the harassment is uh, done through uh, you know some specific websites or social media profiles or even digital communication you know messaging services etc that is on the cyberspace and uh, using some kinds of apps or technology that is information technology digital technology there are different kinds of online harassment as we all may know uh, these may include uh, cyber bullying trolling uh, uh, like uh, uh, revenge pornography then cyber stalking uh, the creation of the fake profiles impersonation through fake profiles sex torsion uh, you know uh, spreading sexually explicit uh, contents especially to children and also to women uh, obscenity on cyberspace etc to summarize we can classify online harassment in the following categories 1 cyber bullying 2 impersonation 3 sexual abuse 4 doxing that is publishing someone's personal data 5 defamation child predators are not always strangers in a dark road sometimes you may actually know them or it is someone who has gained your trust over a period of time making it difficult for you to judge the intentions of the predator and fight back today we need to understand that when we are entering into a virtual relationship with somebody we may not know that particular person in real life so there can be difference of opinion and even when the people are known to each other in the physical space and when they are talking with each other in the virtual space there can be difference of opinion and even when a person is a particular person is posting a photograph or an image or an audio visual clipping there can be several persons who may not accept the way a particular person is trying to project himself or herself in that uh, specific website for example i have seen many cases where young women or teenagers they post uh, pictures in instagram or they create youtube videos you know and uh, those pictures uh, may be uh, you know a little bit uh, skin revealing pictures that means the the child or the adult woman uh, she may be wearing uh, you know short dresses or uh, she may be showing her whole lifestyle in the youtube channels etc so in such cases uh, you know moral policing groups or people who just like to have you know instant fame or who would like to you know who are very much opinionated that uh, you know they want to express their opinion uh, against such kinds of uh, lifestyle of that uh, person concern they might come up and they might you know post their comments which may be extremely uh, you know uh, annoying which may be insulting and derogatory also uh, in in certain circumstances today the day and age has come where 9 uh, out of 10 crimes have a cyber footprint and especially when it is against children and women it can be very sensitive often victims of online harassment are antagonized for their behavior online or are asked to simply shut themselves off the online world which is not only unfair but also gives perpetrators a reason to hide behind Here is a list of things you can do to make cyberspace more peaceful. Do's: 1. Understand that absolutely nothing exempts a person from being a potential predator. 2. Keep channels of communication open. Children, approach a trusted elder when in trouble. 3. Report any abusive comments immediately. 4. Parents Ensure that you speak about any abuse or intended abuse. Silence encourages predators. 5. Save evidence like pictures, messages or audio clips sent by the harasser. 6.